Technician 775 here. Today we're going to show you some of the things you're going to need for dry canning. You can dry can just about anything. Ammunition, medical supplies, food, etc. And the list goes on. It's basically left up to your imagination. Some of the basics you will need. Number one is number 10 cans. These cans are sealed, sterilized, etc. etc. Uh, if you're going to be putting any food in them, I'd make sure they're good and clean. You're going to need a lid for the can also. And these can be obtained from LDS, any one of the LDS canneries located across the United States. Also at LDS canneries, you can pick up oxygen absorbers. Probably the cheapest place. Those guys, um, thank, uh, and I want to thank LDS very much for letting us buy from them. They don't have to, but they do. Uh, really good people. Uh, you will need oxygen absorbers. These come in the 300 cc, which is adequate for after you fill your number 10 can up uh, to uh, take out any oxygen that's left whenever you can, and it's a sealed can. I normally use two, most people use one, but for 10 cents, that's actually cheap insurance. After you open up this package, okay you get a hundred of them uh, for right about ten dollars after you open up the package you want to take two large mason type drawers and wide mouth um, and cut them in half about 50 50 50 in one drawer 50 in the other drawer they keep the best like that they do have a clip chip for this right here but I find it doesn't work as, as well as the mason jars and you're gonna need product uh, you can pick this up at your local Sam's, Costco's, it just Walmart's, just anywhere so you can. Um, some of the things you cannot can, dry can, but uh, for the most part you can do just about anything. If you're curious, look it up on the internet and they tell you what you can and cannot can. And you will also need a couple of mason jars for stuff that's not quite a full can's worth. Put it in a mason jar until the next time you can. You're going to need a couple of really good scoops. Um, something simple, inexpensive. These work just really, really well uh, for you know bulky items. 50 pound bags of rice, 50 pound bags of beans, 25 pound bags of beans, etc. etc. A good marker, marker pen, a sharpie, good pair of scissors, labels. You can get labels from LDS and you can also use 3M shipping labels that you can put in a printer and print out what you need. And last but not least, you will need a good quality canning machine. This right here is a senior can sealer. Uh, it is this one is electric uh, powered with a motor but they do come standard with a hand crank uh, that's how you get all of them and we added the motor because once you do so many of these your arm but falls off so we figured out a way to put a motor on it and it works extremely well and if you see one of my other videos you will see how we did that just in case you're interested and this is just a couple of samples of some stuff that we've did in the last couple of days uh, masa corn flour uh, white rice uh, navy beans, peas, black eyed peas, etc. etc. So, if you have any questions or comments, please post them. And if you have any questions, send me an email and I'll be glad to assist. Technician 775 signing off. See you next time.